Make yourself comfortable. All right. <clears throat> Close your eyes. And just let me do the work for you. All right. First of all, we always start by checking our breath. Are we holding our breath? If we are, let go. Let the breath be natural, automatic, smooth. Now remember, we use awareness like a mirror. So I want you to be aware of your feet, doing nothing more than being aware of your feet. Imagine your awareness is like a mirror. It's simply reflecting what's in front of it. So be aware of your feet. And relax. 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 Now move your awareness to your ankles. Move your awareness to your ankles. And relax. Relax. Just be aware of your ankles. Nothing more. Move your awareness to your knees. Move your awareness to your knees. And relax. Relax. Checking your breath. Move your awareness to your hips. And relax. 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 Move your awareness to the small of your back. Move your awareness to the small of your back. And relax. Relax. So remember, your awareness is like a mirror. So just relax, relax. Move your awareness to the upper part of your back and relax, relax, relax. Move your awareness to your shoulders and neck and relax, relax, relax. Move your awareness to your eyes, move your awareness to your eyes. And again, notice, you can move your awareness. You have the power to change the focal point of your awareness. From whatever's going on in life, to a promise God has made to you. You have the power to move your awareness. Move your awareness to your jaw muscles. Move your awareness to your jaw muscles. And relax. 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 Move your awareness to your throat. And relax. 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 
Now notice that your body is supported, so we don't need any muscle tension. You don't need any muscle tension. Your body is supported. Move your awareness to your chest. Move your awareness to your chest. Move your awareness to your stomach area. And just be aware. Nothing more. Just be aware. And relax. Relax. Move your awareness to the tailbone. Move your awareness to the tailbone. And relax. 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 Now we're going to use the spinal column as a path. So you're going to move your awareness up the spinal column to a point opposite the belly button. Move your awareness the spinal column to a point opposite the belly button. And relax. Relax. Move your awareness up the spinal column to a point opposite the solar plexus, where the ribs come together at the front. But your awareness is still in the spinal column. Move your awareness up the spinal column to a point opposite the sternum, the breastplate. But your awareness is still in the spinal column. Move your awareness up the spinal column to a point opposite the throat. To a point opposite the throat. Move your awareness to the crown of your head. Move your awareness to the crown of your head. I'm going to count to three, and at the count of three, picture your body on some floating device in a beautiful pool. One. Picture your body on some floating device in a beautiful pool. And it's a gorgeous day. We don't have to worry about the sun. I'm not going to get burned. Two. So the warmth of the sun helps the muscles relax. Now there are children and adults in the pool, and they're playing. You can hear them, but they don't disturb you. But because they're playing in the water, they actually set the water in motion. So there's a slight undulation under your floating device. So this slight rocking, the warmth of the sun, helps your body relax even more. Relax. 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 Now you shift your focus to the sky. It's a beautiful sky. Clear, beautiful. Not a bird, not a cloud, not a plane. Beautiful, clear sky. And you're impressed with the immensity of the sky. You can't find the edges. And as you look at the sky, your body feels lighter, lighter, and lighter. Light light, light, lighter, lighter, 
and lighter. All right, let's change scenarios. Picture your body in a beautiful, peaceful place. A beautiful, peaceful place. Whatever is beautiful to you. Whatever is peaceful to you. Beautiful, peaceful place. And you explore the beauty of your environment. And you drink in the beauty. Allowing the energy of beauty to move the frequency of your body to a higher octave. So drink in the beauty. Now, as you are enjoying the beauty, I want you to find a place or make a place in your beautiful place where you could sit down or lay down. So find a place, make a place in your beautiful, peaceful place where you could sit down or lay down. Make yourself comfortable. And after you've made yourself comfortable, I want you to switch your attention from the beauty to the peace. Notice how peaceful, how quiet your environment is. How peaceful, how quiet. Literally you could hear a pin drop. So, we can be aware of our heartbeat. So move your attention to your heart region and be aware of your heartbeat. Just be aware of your heartbeat. Now, if you're auditorily dominant, the term will be a sound. If you're visually dominant, uh, it'll be light. I want you now to move your awareness to your forehead. Move your awareness to your forehead. And be aware of an increase in luminosity or a sound like a hum, like a pitch. So keep your awareness on your forehead. So most people are visual, then auditory, kinesthetic, tactile, olfactory, gustatory, but we usually just use the two that are the most frequent for people. So you'll either be aware of a hum <coughs> or a sense of light. Eventually they'll all be there, but for the moment everybody has a particular sense modality that is dominant. So just keep your awareness in the middle of your forehead. And the light or that center tone indicates that your energies are integrated. The light or that third tone is your index, that your energies are integrated. Now we always want to be nice to our body, so picture your body as it would look if the body was healthy, vibrant, happy. What would the body look like? If the body was healthy, vibrant, happy. 
How would people respond to that? To that type of body. Happy, alive, healthy. Right, I'm going to count to five, and at the count of five, I want you to open your eyes, feeling good. One, coming up slowly. Two, three, four, five. Wide awake, wide awake. All right, let's take our time. We're going to make our circle. So, make our circle. Now remember, right hand down, left hand up, right hand down, left hand up. All right, what do we do first, Tanka? Uh, get comfortable, no locking, no red. Okay, no locking anywhere. Favorite places are things like the ankles, the knees, because wherever you lock, you break the flow of energy. So just let yourself relax. Right? You're not locking at your knees, you're not locking at your ankles. All right. I want you to get in touch with the feeling of love and let it be your intention that you're going to share it with the person to your right. Where do you share this love with the person to your right? And you're going to open yourself to receive through the left. So open yourself to receive. Have the intention to share. Because it is an energy. You just start becoming aware of it. It's an energy, not just as a word, certainly not a thing. All right, why don't we share this love with someone that's not here? At least one someone. It doesn't have to be just one, right? You can make a portrait. But let's share this love because it's not restricted to time, space. So we can share this love with anyone we want. And as many as we want. So make a picture, portrait, and have your intention be that this love will flow to that person or group. And you've done your part. You've given a gift. It's up to them to appropriate it. All you can do is offer it. Like God offers love to us, we either open ourselves to receive it we don't open ourselves to receive it. Okay, now this is the real hard thing. This is the really hard thing to do. I want you to feel great. That's the hard part, huh? Because you all set your upper personal barrier as to how good you're going to feel. And no one sets it but you. Can you feel as good as you like? Now, why don't you get that knack? Why would you need anything else other than you? You can love, you can feel great. Now you just share. Instead of being beggars, looking for it. Hoping somebody will give it to you. All right, relax, find your place. Again, simple exercises that we do over and over again until the aha, my goodness, I have the power to feel as good as I want. I don't need a reason, I don't need an occasion. I'm not
So pretty soon it's not going to make sense why you would delay feeling great for some reason, person, situation. And you can love. So if you can get in touch with either or both, wow, what would be greater? Notice how much easier life would be if that was the sensibility of your body. Which, by the way, starts to move you into a very high octave. Remember I told you about psychoneurolinguistics? What you think, what you feel. Shape the function of your cells. Okay? Shape the function of your cells. And that's why if you're at very low frequency, that you don't see options. That's why people commit suicide. They don't see any options. You may see them, but they don't see them. So the higher your frequency, the more options seem to be available to you. And at a high frequency, all things are possible. Because the energy that is making things possible, and you are one. And you're using the body to channel that energy. But you've trained your body to function in a particular way. And that's what makes things practical for you. So when I keep saying to you, it's not philosophy. It's better hints for living. Okay? All right. Any questions? You have the power. Use it. Don't complain and don't blame. Okay? All right. Have a great week. See you next week. Thank you, George. You are welcome. Thank you.